I sold one of them, Neil. I'm sold. I just at the, at the minimum. Every day and I just enjoy the day, you know? That's yep. important. I don't remember the last day. Right. That's good. Here. This is what I get for getting you a cocktail for dinner, Fear. Yeah. Wait, where am I? <laughs> we'll do the full kinesthetics later. It's okay, Fear. You don't need to worry about the analysis because we already know it's inevitable that Aster has to win. Three game series, yeah. China versus Eastern Europe. China ultimately wins. So far, that has been the trend. Mm -hmm. But can nine pandas here be That's the, the one. trend breaker? Nine. <laughs> That's they the thing. Not, they're not German. Oh. Wrong. Right now, I don't know. Like, I want to be like, I'm going to see something new tonight. But at the same time, the inconsistency of Aster, I feel like, is more than nine pandas. Okay. From most of the time I've seen them. They really love their Storm Spirit. It didn't look very good in game one. Well, it looked okay, actually. But game number two it looked really good on Kyotaka. He had a fantastic game on the Storm, especially in the late game when he got to the Aghanims. Got the multiple, multiple times. Got the Vortex on several heroes because he had the Refresher Orb as well. If they can get to that somehow again, that'd be good. And there's still no Pugnap. And they're picking this without a battery every single time. It's just a, a casual storm, which no other team is really doing. Normally, we're seeing like a Coddle with it. We're seeing a Pugna, potentially an Io, but they don't really care about any of those. Oh, they even go for the Antares Sky first round as Astra has banned that out. Second round, both games. And I want to say about Astra, the second they picked up Sumail, they became a laning-centric team. This team, I have watched them every single game, maybe exception of one, where they are coming out strong after like the first six or seven minutes. I'm like, damn, this game's looking good for Aster. And there's two ways it goes wrong, Neil and everybody else. I'm listening. Either they get the first Aegis and for some reason feel pressure to end the game and go high ground with five heroes and die. That's one way. Okay. And the other one is XSS just tosses I, I it. I knew it. I knew it. So I, you couldn't go with I Aster. am going to need uh. one of neither of those two things to happen if Aster is going to take it. So don't give yourself a five-man bait push lineup and don't give XSS the ability to chuck it. <laughs> I mean, are you worried they're on Radiant? The story seems to happen a lot on the Radiant team because you get the Roshan at the, like 15 to 20, mark, uh, 20 minute mark. That's true. The flow of the game just feels natural. That is, they already got the early Rosh potential coming out. Oh, no. Hopefully this Rosh is like, since you have TA, maybe they double down with like an early solo crest offlaner like Visage and they're taking the Rosh at like 14 minutes and then there's just no way they think they're strong enough at 18 minutes to take high ground. That's that's a solution. Yeah. Sumel's given them a bit to temptation here with the TA pick. You think it's 100% Sumel? It's not 100, nothing's 100% here, but like it makes the most sense here to pick your mid because other teams showed Storm. True. Storm is not a hero that we see in any other lane. And we know Sumel, he does like to play matchups to, well, mainly his comfort. But if he sees a Storm, I think this is pretty uh, TA favored matchup here, at least as a matchup he likes against it. And you're picking it right away. And this might be an early phase mid TA. And the mid TA has lost a lot of flair. The way I look at it right now is like, you want your mid laner to eventually leave the mid lane and help the side lanes because oftentimes your off laner is going to be hitting creeps, such as like these dooms, these type of heroes. They don't really do much on the map. They just kind of get net worth and they farm or they, you know, don't farm places they shouldn't be going and then they lose the game. But if you should be just be farming, getting your net worth up and TA doesn't really do that. You don't really move too much. And yeah. if you kind of look at, like, some of the more popular carries, like the Medusa, for example, all these carries, they like to farm backwards on their side of the map, use, like, you know, the Mighty Mines and these little areas to, like, farm. There's tons of neutral camps right now on the sides of the map. Whereas the mid lane, it's not the same. You don't have that small mid camp anymore. So we're not seeing as many of these, like mid farming type of heroes in the mid lane for that reason so this can be a little bit of a bait we saw gpk play this earlier with his ta ended up losing the game as well so it's, it's not an easy strategy and it doesn't make a lot of sense with the way the map is structured to play too many carries in the mid lane right now yeah i mean to add to your point by like being on the first pick side so it means that you're more likely to lose your side lanes because of the way of the pick order you have to show your lanes first so then it actually makes it even harder for you to do that you're gonna have to like drop some carry that's like monkey king to be able to help the ta a little bit and if you don't have a good lane it'll be very very hard to do that i believe aster will be picking monkey king then because they've definitely done that a lot for monet but why, if you, if you gave me all these examples about why mid lane TA is not good, and he has generally been favoring Ember anyway, then why are you so convinced that it will be a mid lane TA? We're not, we're not 100% convinced. Not 100%. It, just, it would make sense since they saw the storm and they... Why not pick Ember? Yeah, they're... why not pick Ember then? Yeah. That's my question. Because it makes me believe because that... Because it's not a mid TA would be my... Sumail wants to play it, right? 
Mm -hmm. Maybe. This is me saying he's giving in to temptation of wanting to play some of his signature heroes that aren't really the best in this meta right now. And he sometimes likes to just fall back on that, picking these heroes that he really enjoys playing that used to be good, but are not the case right now in this patch. Not saying it can't work, it just logically doesn't make as much sense to do it. Uh, I mean, the solution here is instead of the TA coming to you, maybe you just go to the TA with the Enchantress. Now, the, my concern, though, is I think it's going to be difficult for the Team Master supports to dedicate a lot of time to the mid lane because Skyrath Mage and Dirge, like these heroes, like as an off laner, I don't usually get want to get left on an island versus Undying in the same thing as a safe laner against Sky. Like these heroes kind of need to be either draw, like they need to be pulled mid as well or something of that sort because these side lanes are just not going to be independent. And they go for the Marsh. That gives them some team fight, quote unquote, but it's also like not that great against Undying. Like you don't feel great using Arena or all your spells on him. Storm can get out of Arena. Sky's Grab probably going to be way in the back. Yeah. What did you say? Grab ally. Grab ally. It just more and more makes me think that this is a mid TA. Yes. If you are picking a mid TA, Basically, the way I always looked at it, and Dota's evolved to the point to where I think just playing mid carries aren't great in general, but it was like either your mid or off laner has to be like quote unquote the space maker. So if this is a mid TA, then you have to have like that blink stun type of hero into the off lane, which isn't very popular right now. Mars is still a popular hero, but generally it's picked in a good Mars game. And as you mentioned, this already isn't the best Mars game. Feels a little bit forced here just to try and make this mid TA work. They're just bending for Sumeld here, I believe. Let's see that freaking Ramsey's faces void. Let's go. Oh, TB. Oh, okay. This is one of the best heroes against uh, TA. And right now, SS, they're going to be stuck in a, a pickle here. They have to draft everything for the TA, and the TA doesn't really outcarry the TB. So you're going to be forced to play a, like a really, really fast paced game. You have to win your lanes. You have to get Roshan early. Basically, the ball needs to keep rolling. Five seconds. Four. Now this TB hero, there's a reason why I didn't suggest him. I'm usually a big TA, TB fan against this I hero this. he's playing against. This hero has a 31% win rate in 22 games this tournament. He has not been winning. Uh, I mean, he's really nice with Undying. He's basically a ranged carry. Uh, you do want ranged carries with Undying, but I don't know. Like, yes, he absolutely scales very well against TA. Very good matchup there. And the Enchantress, like you mentioned, is annoying because she enchants your illusions on the map. And suddenly, those illusions also keep Metamorphosis if she steals them while you're Metamorphed. Yeah, you know, we had uh, this discussion, like, what, yesterday or the day before what, about why TB has a lower win rate. Like, well, I don't think I was having this discussion with you. Enlighten yeah, me. We, we thought we had, uh, they had, uh, the hero had a lower win rate because of the Terran of the map. Because the way, like, all the team fights are happening. Oh, we did talk about yeah. this. Yeah, like, like, a lot of, like, uh, low ground, like, uh, a lot of, like, flat areas. Like, so it's difficult for the Terabate to come in from an angle. Like, you always have to run through very narrow ramps. So it makes it difficult for the, the Terabate compared to his uh, mm. other illusion carries, like Naga. Naga seems to have a better time in those uh, Terran areas. Like, you can just send your illusions and start with a song. So it's easier for you to commit. Yeah, the other illusion heroes are much more like chaotic. Like, which one's the real Naga? Which one's the real PL? They also have like disjoints and uh, dispels. While Terrorblade on the other hand, he pretty much plays fights like Dusa. I always call Terrorblade like an illusion hero and on the map. And you have to Medusa commit every fights. time you decide to go, you're already committing. Exactly. So they just ban out the bad carry matchups for TB. I wouldn't even mind uh, like a faceless void for Team Master. They might just go to the Drow again, to be honest. They left in the pool. It's very good against the Terror Blade as well. Pretty reliable laner. Synergizes somewhat with TA. I think they definitely need something that makes them feel like the Terror Blade's not just like the trump card, like not just a guaranteed 40 minute plus victory for the TB, because that's what it's looking like right now. Yeah, I mean, you're going to get in that situation where you need to pick another carry that can beat Nine Pandas carry. However, Nine Pandas have a clear goal of getting this Terrorblade farmed, and he is their win condition. Whereas Team Master, they have this dynamic now where they're going to have two carries. And Mars isn't the hero that likes buying auras necessarily. So there's going to be a window in which I think Nine Pandas are going to group up, have all the auras. And it's going to be very difficult for Aster to take these fights, I think. Like, you get your blink initiation, and if you don't burst a hero on that time frame, it feels like there's no reset button for Aster's heroes. Whereas Nine Pandas, of course, you got Grab Ally to reset and other auras that you can get possibly buy. But I think Nine Pandas draft for now, I would prefer it's 
quite heavily, even without seeing this last hero. This last hero is just going to be an offlaner that buys some auras, in my opinion. Yeah, tight, probably, like, uh, to finish up the land. Lark, I don't know if you want to do that. Uh, I think they definitely want to could offlaner. Axe. Yeah. I don't I... want to see Axe. I want to see an aura buyer, but maybe they want to try and just win the match. Hey! Oh. Enlighten us. Why Axe? Well, I mean, he has a Sky Wrath on his team, so that's your laning part. Why is that good synergy, Fear? Because you do the Berserker's Call, which the Seb. stuns them, and then you drop the Mystic Flare, and wow. it does a lot of damage, and then you dunk them. Yeah, but then you're not going to probably be buying the, the team items. You're going to be going for that's your, downside, yeah. Yeah, your own items. I, I mean, I'm kind of on the same page with Fear here, where... Uh, I don't know if he remembers what page he's on, but he said that <laughs> uh, Nine Pandas was... He liked their draft a lot more. Uh, I, I definitely like their... I think the fact that they're now getting countered in the safe lane as well. Like, Slark has a pretty high win rate this tournament, but we saw it flop pretty hard earlier against the Legion Commander offlane from Rezo. It's very similar to the Axe offlane. Yeah. Taunts that you can't dispel, Blade Mills that you kill yourself on. I think he's the only answer to Terra Blade, and I think he's going to have a tough time being that only answer. It's not even, like, that hard of an answer either, in my opinion. Like, it's okay. Like, TB can't really click you when you're shadow dancing. Might help the TA a little bit too, but I think this TB is going to just outlive all the damage here and just turn it around with the amount of disables that you do have from nine pandas. Yeah, I do feel like that Enchantress could pose a problem for the X as early game. And X, you definitely need to have a, a really good start. So maybe they can actually get a couple of kills with the Enchantress, maybe some spin gate action with the Rubik rotating in. That might be a solution to deal with the X and Maybe get the ball rolling from there for Team Esther. My question is, would you rather be the Axe sacrificed or the Mars? Because I assume if they do that, the Mars, Mars is, you'd rather be Mars? Yeah. Okay. yeah, can they even mess with the Axe? I feel like most Axes, they start wave cutting and the mid comes and kills them. Yeah, it has to be like wave one or two is what yeah. he's saying, I you think. You have to do it early. Like You have to kill him one time at least, I think, in the early game. It's difficult. Imagine all this analysis when it really doesn't matter because we know that China keeps beating Eastern Europe in three-game series. Unless it, this is the game to buck the trend. Let's find out in game number three with OD Pixel and Fogged. Thank you very much, Tsunami. Yes, the deciding game now here between Asta and Nine Pandas. Uh, what, what, what sort of jumps out to you from uh, these drafts, Fog? I'm seeing already we're getting the, uh, obviously the storm again. Different approach coming from the mid lane at this time from uh, Asta. We're getting some mail on his TA. Yeah, I think the Skywrath is deterring him away from wanting to go for that Ember Spirit too, because Kiyotaka, he, he powered up throughout the series versus Sumail's Ember, right? So it did seem to find it a solution. That extra little layer of the sky could be a problem. I, I really like Nine Pandas this time around. I think this one does feel quite a bit harder for Aster. I think this Axe and the Skywrath, I've said it before about Antares, this is his best hero. I love when he plays the Skywrath. He's super aggressive on it. And I think they have set up for some very, very strong dual lanes. They have Axe Sky, super kill threat lane, and then they have a TB and an Undying. And then we've seen this Storm, even playing versus something like the TA, Kiyotaka is very confident on it. So it's definitely set up for success. I feel like Aster, I'm right there with the panel. I want to see some early rotations from the sports. I want to see some Boboka moving through Twin Gates. I want to see them setting up some K. Let's see what we get. We've had, uh, obviously, that, that game one impressive stuff uh, for, for Aster, but yeah, game two, nine pandas pretty unstoppable yeah the, the way that they're able to recover things and make moves around miro making some good jumps and a similar sort of style of hero right it's again going to be miro once he's able to get that blink dagger on making the make the blink calls and yep and being that key catch to threaten heroes and in, in particular monet slot yeah i'm gonna I'm, I'm watching so much of the laning phase if monet is able to get the ball rolling see if he's able to pretty much like farm down here and they can push miro out and get some type of like early kills here that can be the success there for Aster. They need to make sure that Monet has a good game because he is, he's the absolute win condition in this game. It's a TA that has a couple different answers that he has to deal with. Of course, there's that TB in the mid game, that super high armor even toward the late game. So yeah, Monet, he needs a good game. Let's see if they're going to be able to set up for it. So three bouncy runes going the way of nine pandas. It was the last time, I believe, too. I think they, earlier. And Because uh, I imagine if this bottom lane goes well for nine pandas, that this is a lane where you, you want to play the lane right. They're not going yeah. to... They'll only sort of turn to skipping the creeps, pulling them if, if it goes badly on the first few ways, if they start losing lives down here. Yeah, I mean, it all, or, or if like Miro just sees their point where it's like, Miro has a full Vanguard, so Antares can just like leave the lane and stuff like that pretty early on here. But it is, of course, versus the Slark, but I'd imagine Antares just hits the Slark. Yeah. He just beat the crap out of him, throw blood grenades, concussives, throw hunger even onto him super early on. I, I, I really like the triple lane setup here. You already see sort of with that first go, just how much damage Monet takes. 
Yeah, I actually even like this. I mean, I, the Legion is very, very strong, but I, I love this these two together. I, I miss seeing it. I actually really do like these two heroes, even in the past. You can actually post kill threat. But let's see. I mean, Sumail, he has made some wonders happen, of course, in some of these games when he has, is playing in these matchups. Kiyotaka, he wants to play the Storm three times versus... Yeah, uh, and how does this one go, TA versus Storm? Should be good for the TA? Should be good for the TA, but there's definitely... I mean, Storm can do fine as well. He can always just shove the wave in as well, and you have threats if you do get, like, a good Vortex opportunity or rotation, so... Nine Pandas, they could do, like, a TP move. It's easier to get kills on the TA, and the TA can't really threaten kills them. The top ends up doing, too. This is never an easy lane for something like Mars versus them dying. It does have the Enchanters, which does turn the tides a little bit. Ramsey's 8-3. Hot start here. Level two, Monet has hit it. Just gonna try and make the jump over towards Miro. They might be able to get the kill. Ah, uh, they've, they've got him. One more touch and that'll do it. First blood for Monet. Steps up a little too far. I think that was, yeah, seven stacks. He gets that little bit of stack there too. Himself. And Antares is actually out of mana, so. Not able to apply too much pressure onto Monet here with the backup. Ichu. Big kill. An important one for them to get, especially for Monet. Not able to get it top, and it's a humongous creep wave that XXS is going to be able to farm under the tower here. Kiyotaka again. I mean, sometimes I have seen that the Storm Spirits take both the Vortex at three. Same thing as last game. I think he's like, no, I'm not doing it. I, I maybe felt like he wanted to for a second, but it ended up being way better when he took two points in Static Remnant. Top playing the drop tombstone. Is it enough? See if it's enough to get Baboka. The blood zombies grenade. will do it. Yeah, blood grenade zombie. Bottom lane. We can try and make it to Pichu. No, well, not quite, but. Bring him back when Antares. Still got a mango to play with down here. Mm -hmm. He's going to be able to get the heal. So also, too. We'll have that mana to spam out. Monet. Mm -hmm. Sitting on those 10 stick charges. Stacks up the room. The arrow. The arrow. Top lane, they get the uh, setup with the spear onto Solo. He's fairly tanky though. Healing Lotus plus the stick charges. Can't fully commit onto him. Spear. Solo's perfectly fine. Bottom no, lane, Miro is not. One A and Pichu, they're able to strike again. These are the important kills. 15 and 7 now on this Slark. Now he's got extra regen too, and they're even, I mean, they're bringing tons of regen down here. This is excellent shot. Solo's got to be careful top. Ooh. I mean, if they land the spear, ooh, ooh off the oh. mark there, XXS. Whoopsie. Won't be getting a kill off that. Yeah. Tips, I had to tip him for that one. What a money. Tries to sort of bait them in and then jump back in on them. Uh, so get chased out a bit by Miro. And Aris Aris. is going to go down. Fairy I Park's not so. enough. I think so. He'll take him out. Right, these two are owning the lane. Zero two on Mono, getting involved in a lot of action thanks to the support of Pichu. Love it. As we said, Pichu, he brought tons of regen down, has a salve for himself from earlier. He's even going to get the pull off, so he's going to deny a whole wave away from Miro. Excellent stuff from Master down bottom. Ramsey's still absolutely free farming in the top lane, but this is exactly what you'd want. And look at that. I assume Mel wanted the 1v1. He's like, okay, Kiyotaka, you're going to call for Skyrat to fill your bottle? How dare you? Camille is starting to get a little bit out of edge in the mid lane. 19 and 8. Just got a couple more denies in comparison to the Storm. 3 refraction online. Struggle. Monet can... Yeah, he's, he's got to be careful because mirror has got Antares yeah. joining him again. Be careful how aggressive he goes. Yeah, doesn't want to waste time missing out any creeps under his tower. Still have extra regen. I like that Peach is doing this. I mean, it's a lot of consumable gold spent, but it's something you need to do inside of this lane. He's just buying Tango, Salve, Tango, Salve, just keeping Monet pumped up to full HP so they can't spam him down. Success. They want to try for a dive up here, but... Go back away from the Tombstone. Trying to inch up and hit it. Solo, Solo and Ramsey just trying to body them off of it. XXS is still farming very well up here. 32 and 4 on the last hits, and he's even going to get the tombstone finished too. I'm going to peach you TP over to see if they can potentially set up for a kill. It's going to be the metamorphosis popped by Ramses. Solo is going to be chased up by the Hellbar Smasher. The spear will connect. Solo, impetus. he's gone. But they'll get Baboka, maybe Ramses. Ramses. Two more hits will do it. Yeah. 
I'm stoked. I'm surprised at the last hits from XXS. I mean, Ramsey's is free farming, but XXS is as well up here. Seen differently happen a lot versus these dyings. Playing Kiyotaka, he has hit six. Gen rune up top. Both support timing coming in from uh, Nine Pandas around the mid. He didn't get the bottle refill though, solo. They didn't actually fill up Kiyotaka's there. Well, he will. Get his so much attention onto Miss. I was like, all right, you're gonna get your bottle refilled that time before, so will I. Here we do see the cutting is happening. Piero now is getting that creep down bottom. Two deaths, though. Definitely hurting him a little bit. Monet set up off to a good start here down bottom. He's got the Midas queued up. Let's get that farm going. Four to two. A little bit of an edge here for nine pandas off of the lane. Even though the kills say otherwise. So impressed. I'm so impressed that XXS was able to. I mean, can you know this top lane around the, the level six when XXS hits it? Is there is there kind of kill potential with these two, or they have to bring in a plus one? Uh, they for an arena kill. They honestly don't have the greatest kind of kill heroes with the arena no. overall as their draft. It's a little awkward, so I mean, we'll have to see. They might have to bring even like a third hero. Yeah, they might have to bring that third hero. Ramses is actually also going for the Midas, so he's feeling like his lane is good enough for him to go down this greedy route. All right, he's going to get it pretty quick. He will. He's on oh. the ground. The CS. They will get the setup here with the ancient seal over towards XXS. They go. It's nice. going to be another kill here for nine pandas. Nicely diced from from Antares. Gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a fast Midas Terrorblade. He's got it, right? A couple of hundred. A couple of hundred. Oh. He's gonna be quicker than that. Uh, I have money. I see money straight away. Is he, he still considering the, the alternatives? Okay. Aggressive here. Nay. A little bit careful here. I mean, Miro. Start to bully him a little bit when Monet's alone. Courier. Yataka. Looks for Boka. Should be able to find him here. Sumail's in the area, though. See if they can help out, but Boka will get taken down. Uh, in turn, they'll lose solo. Good move from Sumail. Active movement. TA. He's thinking about stepping up for more. He knows the key attacker doesn't have a huge amount of mana to play with, uh, but uh, we'll manage to bottle up the, the bounty rune. And he'll force him back, at the least. He's going to maybe even scout stack. Right. Good aggressive move from Sumail. 21 charges, bottles at the ready. Miero continues to maximize. So even though XXS, as we mentioned from before, was, I mean, he's still doing well top, all things considered, because he versus that undying. Miero's getting more, because he's just cutting the wave 800 ahead of his counterpart. Looks like now they're going to try to perhaps go for Miero. This cutting, I mean, Monet wants. With, with a plus one, they should definitely have a shot at it here with the Slark. Yep. Put the call, but Monet, he's perfectly fine. He's got the one charges. He'll use the Shadow Dance to play it safe. He's got just enough he is HP. Pretty low. Uh, but the telekinesis, Whoop. he's got to be a bit careful, Monet. He just resets, he dances. Can they finish off Miro? Nice TP. Played it well then. It was a tricky kill to try for as it was Aster and, and yeah. Blade. They don't get it. They played it as, I mean, it's kind of as good as you could have, I feel like, on Aster. Monet has to be very careful. Spins. Yeah, Ramsey's that Midas. They're already starting to kick in level eight. It's going to be very high level Monet. He has committed, so he's going to be going down that. And this is it. I think this could be tough. I think I think Ramses might get away with it. I think Ramses has the right idea. He is going to be so farmed this game if, if the pace continues. And he has a good matchup, of course, versus that TA versus the Mars and everything. So if he if he gets that big farm, Slark of course has a good matchup versus Terrorblade, but what happens to me how farmed he is. And there's a bit of answers, of course, versus that Slark. That axe call, it's going to be annoying. Same yeah. thing with the Skyrest silence. And let's see what routes Kiyotaka does. I, I, I think he might. Yeah, he is. He's queued it up. I was wondering if he was going to do the do the Orchid build. He might still switch to Witchblade. If it's valuable this game versus the Orchid also. He's got an Arcane Rune. Sumail. Sumail's got a lot of backup though. Four members of Astra around the mid. Not a fight that Nine Pandas wants to start against them. They'll just hold their own by the tower. One of the more rich Terra Blades, I think. Dude, this, he has Rams is 600 so farmed. I mean, right now he's already six, like what, 600 GPM, right? Just about. They're gonna try and go on the Mickey attacker. Vortex set up. Mystic Flare comes down onto Peachy. They've got the Rubik. And they have. This is the. This is also the thing about their lineup is they have multiple ways to set up the Mystic Flare. They have Axe Call with Skyrathal, and they have this Vortex as well too with it. Well, on the side of Aster, they don't have that Wombo combo with you know Mars Spear. They don't have like yeah, that big dunk unless the Rubik ends up stealing something. Definitely harder for them to set up for those. 
And this can get these a little bit easier as I mean, Miero's, he pretty much has the blink dagger. And they punish him. They're making yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna bring XXS in to, to try and take him out. He's got the blink purchase though. Yeah, they're, they're going all in onto Mira. So Mira, very, very dead here. But uh, indeed on the respawn might catch them mm -hmm. by surprise with the fact that he did get that purchase done. I uh, will see if they're able to set up some sort of smoke movement, nine pounders to really capitalize on the fact that that blink pickup before he dies might catch Asta. Uh, with a, but yeah, with a bit of an arty surprise. I think they're gonna look to smoke set up. Skyrath holds hold his back up in three seconds. It's up. The stolen uh, bull lining here. Pichu so keeps his distance. Kirtak is gonna turn and get some mail. Instead, they get the setup with the vortex. Mail's gone. Big damage. A big catch to be found. And maybe they can even try for more. Kirtak will probably play careful as he gets clipped by the spear. A little too long on the HP to continue fighting here. Punish any solo is weak. 1400. Too, too much HP built up. And defusal's done. It's a on good timing. A, on a. It, it, it is, but to have any chance of keeping up with this terrible, they have to find action. They've they got to go. get this Slark involved in the mid. Miro is in with the jump, gets the catch. Pichu gets caught. Cool. Yeah. I feel like a a Monet might have to look to make some moves there. Yeah, they're going to tip him. I mean, it's a very early blink. Even though he died three times in lane, right? Miro, he did pick it up very early with the way he was cutting and bringing the waves into the neutral camps. Antares, Arcane Ring. He's going he's to have mana for the ult in about... Yeah, he's back up in 15 seconds. Monet has to be careful, but... He has to also be active. He's, He's got to be active. He's got to look for kills. Otherwise, Ramses is Ram Midas is just absolutely going to yeah, run off. You know, if, if Ramses is able to play it as well as he did last game, I, I think this is going to be a pretty tough one for Asta. Mm -hmm. Does feel like it. I like that Tumail's gone blink dagger though. He wants to be able to make moves around the map just to make sure that they don't fall too behind in this early game. I'm gonna get some tower pressure up top. Volca. Oh, nice. He'll just be able to waltz in and steal a bounty room. Maybe he pays with his life. They want to set up for him. Kiyotaka's thinking about it. Pandas, they're setting up. They want to defend top. They're going through the twin game, Miero. He's going to get the jump. Do they have the combo? He gets the opening. They do. Well, they at least... Well, they have not the ancient still follow up, but not enough damage. So we'll still be able to sneak away. And Tara's actually went right, while Miero went left and got the catch, so didn't get the full connection. Ancient Seal comes out late, too. Seeing the... A midnight key attack. He's not going to waste energy trying to go for Baboka with his mana. Nah, he's got untouchable skilled. Monet, I feel like he's a bit lucky to get away with his life there. 3k lead though for nine pandas. They don't get the kill, but still just get farm and Meow. He's going to take the portal down to bottom. Do they have a smoke on Antares? I think Antares, I think he just constantly wants to hunt around with his axe. He does have one at the ready. 15 seconds for Skyrethel. Running at him. And not like can do on his own. Needs a plus one to try and go for the kill. Mid lane. Doctor, he'll be fine. Telekinesis, that's all they have there. How long on how long for the blink X success? He's close. Okay. They need that in order to be able to get the catch onto the storm. Hey, they found him. This time the combo's there with the mystic flare. Key attacker zips across. And Mira, he's able to get the dunk. Oh. I mean, this is the this is always the scare. It's that Ramses has no pressure. He's literally free farming in Monet. It's, it's terrifying. It's terrifying for Monet and Tess Terrorblade. He's gonna get terrifying himself. He is, you know, Terrorblade farm with the little pointy finger mo emoji and the graph going up and the Munkeress. It, <laughs> it's there. It's real. That's what I've been typing right now. This Terrorblade is going to be a big problem. Oh, and they pause even too. Let it sink in. Mm -hmm. Team CB, they say, but you know, they're like, look at Monet dead. Let it sink in. And it's, uh, Midas is back up. I mean, He's get it, just absolutely getting away with his mind. Instant. He doesn't hesitate for a moment. If you're in the vicinity of Dyer's top tower, I'd put on a Scary for Monet. Because it, it yeah, feels like he has to be active, but he, he could just die every time he gets he looks to get active as well. This blade mail is almost done for Miero. There's gonna actually be solo kill threat even too. We're active. Here we go. They've got to find something big with this. Yeah, let's Excess see. Success and Pichu on the hunt. Hey, he's got the K stolen. Bad. Everyone's farming, though. <laughs> and then, All the cores on nine pandas are getting so much this farming. part of the map is... feels like the chances of finding something big is it's pretty low. And Ramses is pretty much stuck to the top half. And uh, Kiyotaka's actually going back to... He actually has the Orchid done already. Even more threat for poor Monet. A lot Not of catch easy. and burst. Yeah, so much control for him. So many different ways to set up for him. 
Yeah, just it's scary when Monet. It's like you're feeling the pressure as Monet and just rams. He's just like, I hit creeps. I free farm. I mean, he's going to be really good on his Scotty. Again, super active movements. Another smoke. It's not scouted by any means. Yeah, Ramsey's confident to show himself in the mid here. Maybe they can set up they on Ramsey's. This is him. deep. It's a dangerous place to farm. Ramsey's. And he's feel strong. They've got the spear. Monet's on top of him, but he's able oh, the to thunder. thunder off. As Ramsey's, he's perfectly fine. He can walk this off. They'll turn with the Mystic Flare on towards Baboka. They'll get the Enchantress. Another or catch. Maybe Mira. He's in with the jump, gets the call onto Pichu. Nine Panas push him forward. Ramses, he'll back up a little bit. Key attacker will go straight yeah, she... towards the man with the refraction. He's there. beast. Attacker gets caught by Monet's pounds. I think... Hello? Also to be taken down as a male. Finishes him off. Brings him Ramsey's? down with the hit. They get the spear, won't oh. latch. Oh. I mean, that was a risky move that Nine Pan is trying to take the fight up underneath the tier one tower of Asta. Asta, they punish Nine Panas for that. Monet, continuing to use night vision, looking for more. I think that was a defensive pounce from Monet that ends up actually clipping Kyotaki and getting the kill. The call actually whiffs. I mean, they get the jump on the Antares. The spear's there. Kill. Well, Arrow. Out, hit some else in and out, but take down Mira. Mira's gone. Oh, Asta striking in. Oh, yeah, Nine Panas with a big mistake around the mid. And uh, Asta, they. They absolutely punish that for the big time. Taking four heroes down and taking the tier one. Tumel now has his death so finished up. What a hit. And they got, they got Ramsey's. They, 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 Ramsey's actually ends up surviving and then they actually just full over extend. Everybody else dies. They punish it. And I actually need to see that again. Was that, I think it was a defensive pounce. Oh, I, I mean, we'll have to see it toward the end of this one. But I think Monet was trying to disengage with his pounce. And then Kiyotaki actually zipped into the pounce and made it look fantastic for Monet. Let's have a look. I mean, yeah, the start of this all, you know, Ramses is like, guys, it's all cool. You know, they tried to kill me. They didn't kill me. We're fine. And then suddenly the rest of his team dive in the tower. Yeah, let's see. I mean, Monet, I'm watching here. Yeah, hey, he, he, he <laughs> tried to get away. And... Uh, in that movement, he actually ends up setting up for, for them to kill Kiyotaka. I mean, it was godly, yep. He ends up getting that storm as he shows up with an Orchid. It does nothing. Now Orchid though, oh, okay. Yes. He wants to punish him. But they're ready. For the Telekinesis, the spear's there. Will be tanked by Mira. Kiyotaka three to jump out. In fact, they get the call onto the two of them. <laughs> All right. Big damage. This time it's Asta walking into a terrible fight as they quickly lose both Monet and XXS. Miro, he's able to walk away as well. 50 HP, that's oh. always isn't enough. I mean, it's getting late. Both teams making some mistakes here. Kitaka, <laughs> good aggressive play there. I mean, Mars is ready for it, but Nine Pan is a little bit more ready with the numbers. Ramsey's Scotty is finished. Yeah. No massive. Go down a little bit there from that death. Miero does get one stack. Another one. More armor now for him. 11. Back and forth we go, but Ramsey's just continues to be that big beast, and he is so good versus the TA matchup. He's he's gonna start joining into these fights constantly. He even has another oh my god, another ancient stack actually too. Scotty's so done. rich. He is so rich. Samael's so doing his best to, to try and keep up with yeah. his involvement in that last fight there around the mid. Definitely gave him a good boost of gold. But his his matchup versus that TB, it's difficult. Getting to the TB is gonna be hard. I like he bought the shard too on Sumail, so he does have that extra little bit of silence also that's gonna come into play versus that storm spirit. Get Taka could get caught off guard by it. And also at this point, whilst there's not the, the dispel on Ramses, might you know trip him up when he's trying to wait to go low before he pops asunder. True. Master. I mean, can they can they play for Roche when they're, they're sort of setting up this position, or is it just too scary against Nine Panda's jump? Still a bit scary. I mean, if they can get like a kill, they could just sequence it into Roche very, yeah. very easily. I think just going into a blind's a little bit. Team fight is not an advantage for that. Ramsey's, he's going to use Solo's HP, heal himself back up, and we're seeing Solo's build. Medallion, Pavis, he's just trying to buff up Ramsey's as much as possible. Then he's looking for a bit of item. 3k ahead of anybody else. And actually, instead of finishing the Manta, he's just going to opt to, to get the BKB as soon as he can here, get the hammer out. All right. So he's... Hey, that's a very uh, not greedy thing for him to do. Sure, I guess we're just really respecting the, the threat of getting jumped by the arena combo. Yeah. Spare. Don't I mean, want to get locked down by that. They don't have like a shard yet on the Undying. I actually thought that Solo was going to buy it, perhaps. Maybe they do the Tormentor to try to get the luck of it, because that is that is one thing that maybe could allow him to get more aggressive items, but he's already committed for the BKB. They will have the Tombstone save versus the Mars, which is honestly really damn good. The bulk up. I'm trying to threaten him. It's not worth it. It's, it's, not an, worth it's the an annoying kill to go for. No, it's not worth it. Burn the Kirin Tom. 
Master. Stop. Important part of the map now. They're actually Late gonna time. rush themselves on Nine Pandas. They have the Undying in the TV. Mira ho hovers around outside of the pit. He can be ready for the count initiation if Aster do jump this. So Mira, he'll he'll be prepared. Gonna die pretty quick, but Aster's gonna be here in time. Let's see if they can get some sort of a steal. He attack his position. Inside the tree line, dropping the remnants. Maybe just spot out any sort of attempted approach from Aster. Mira, what call what's what call is he gonna get? Is he gonna find the Slark? He's gonna see Baboka. They're gonna hold Baboka outside of the pit, jump forward with the instant. Instant silence! Mira, jump forward from Mira with the call, they've taken the Mars out, they've taken the Enchantress away. Holy crap, Antares. I mean some people might be sleeping, but Antares is not. Oh my god. He just for key attacker. I mean he, he was probably pre-clicking, I guess, on the ground that he expected the Mars to go for that. Yeah, they, it was they, literally they, instant. They set up perfectly around that. They were so so ready for Asta to step in like that. And you see that Miero was patient too. Like the Boca shows up, Miero's like, nah, ain't going for the enchantress. I want a bigger one. Now check this Look again. At this. That was so fast. Yeah, XXS trying to get in. Yeah, I mean, they did get the vision, I guess, of him right before the I think well, so. they had, like, the, the tombstone, the zombies yeah, out, so indeed, Antares, he was more than ready for XXS to blink in like that. I mean, this, as I said, this is his best hero. Showcasing it there is also now Sumail gets, gets caught. caught. Momentum's shifting. Yeah, Mira Momentum's having... Momentum's swaying heavily now into Nine Panda's favor. Great couple of games here on the off lane. Yeah. From his Enigma and now into the Axe this game. We're right. up to a very nice four... Four successful dunks hit. 22 minutes in. He's going at 6, 4, and 0. He's the one getting all the kills, too. No assists. Aha. Oh, and this, dunks. this is what, one of those games as well where the, the armor feels pretty darn good. It's very good. <laughs> against all three of the cores mm -hmm. of Asta, this this infinite scaling armor. I mean, against like everything. They, great. they don't have much magic damage on their draft. True. It's Rubik and Chan. Like, it's pure damage and physical damage for the most part, unless the Rubik skills Skyrax missed the play, which just doesn't happen. Is now Still doesn't. Oh, that's, that's a hard one. Attacker. Yeah, not worth it. I mean, he's playing, he's with, got regen. playing with the regen okay, rune, yeah. Fair enough, fair That's enough. why I was going reckless there. The same. So he'll be back up to full mana. Like, damn, he really wants him. Ramsey's continues just absolute freedom. Um, that has to be some of the higher last hits that isn't a Naga Siren at this point. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get any sort of stats regarding this because yeah, that's Ramsey, insane. So he's got to be hitting some stuff here with the, with the Terra Blade this game. 750 GPM on a team. Also, if he, if he wants to come in for this butterfly next, that's going to come at a time when absolutely nobody on Aster is close to having an answer to, to that evasion. Phenomenal versus both of these heroes. Yeah, they do. They can build MKBs, but yeah. It's a long, so long, uh, long way away. Solo. He's got, he had four staff in Solo Crest. Not here, I mean, so. Gem now purchased for Antares. They want to keep this pressure on, get rid of these pesky TA traps. Success, he does have the BKB finish, but still not easy for him to get the jumps. He is struggling. He's, they're going to take the tower out even without meta. Might just continue to push. Force Aster back to base. And it, it, heroes can just, if they make a mistake, they could just get caught instantly and die on the side of Aster here. Ramsey's commences. How to ask to stop this? Somebody's gonna have to do something. Already key attacker, he's in, he's looking for the Rubik's being able to get the grab on a Pichu. Mystic Flare comes down, Pichu, he's out. Okay. Up the arena, XXS puts the BKB, he's able to get the spear connection onto Ramses. And there just isn't the straight up damage to threaten this TB as Ramsey steps forward and starts to bully back Aster as XXS. He's got a split from them, but he's not gonna get the chance. Key attacker zips in, pulls him back with a vortex. XXS out for 45. Miero actually didn't even, he called the floor. He didn't actually blink and call anybody, and they still can't even do anything for some. And there's now we'll get one. And another of a dunk for Miro. I Ramsey just he far too strong. Now backing up. Does have third HP. Doesn't have his Sunder available. Big damage hit. Three heroes dead. Half the tower also and a full butterfly, I believe. Uh, I think well, oh, just a few hundred of your talent. <laughs> uh, but they, you know, they're, right they're going to back off. They, 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 they don't need to force it. They know that they're in a great spot and uh, that lead's only going to continue to grow. Can Esther get some catch here and Tarez looks like he might go down. To, oh, ooh, Paul's actually up the mark. Yeah, this time Miro not, not quite able to get the, the jump in return. So, and Tarez, he's done for. Dare you, boy. I missed from him this game. <laughs> That's got the full halberd though. So next time might be able to help out his buddy, yep. even if he doesn't get the cool connection. That was a weird 
He's getting late. I mean, Miero literally blinked. He didn't call anything in the in the initial go on the fight bot. I think he could have actually gotten maybe the Slark on the initial everything that was going on down bottom. But way. Still come out ahead. There's the butter. Still tier two is to be taken on the, the mid and the top lane. So the reason nine pounders can just look to go for those as their next objectives. It's... Only 20 seconds left on the Aegis. So that will be gone. Maybe Asta can look to go for some sort of smoke movement around the fact that the attacker's Aegis is expiring. Meta is about to, we're going to be coming back up in about 30 seconds though. Yutaka, bottle refill. He's going to get the shard. Solo gets blessed. So kind of the dream one, I think, they could have gotten this game also. Just even though they're so far ahead, that little bit of extra. Now, even if you get the full combo, even if you do get the spear targets on these spear kind of perfectly, it's going to be that save from Grab Ally. Not easy for Aster this time around. Mail trying to find an answer. See the item he's queued up next. He's like, I can't be physical damage. I need to convert it. Uh, it's, it's big brain, but it's Don't the way you got to go against yeah. a TV with this you know, 40 armor pretty it's much sitting around. Very expensive, though. That is the, one of drink. the most expensive items, so it's going to take him quite a bit of time to farm it. And Nine Pandas, I don't think they're going to look to give him that time. Lift is on cooldown. They want to knock on the door. Full butterfly completed. Ramsey solar crested as well. No hesitation to meta. Starting to give vision. Master, what do you do? Tier 3 has gone. Ooh, can't even steal the tome, so nice coverage there from Solo with the Soul Rip. Vokas trying to step up, but... I'm gonna take the attention off the, the barracks. There's the smoke up here, Aster. Oh my oh, god, god, he's, he's dead. straight up dead. There's the auto attacks. That's his bottom racks. It's gonna be gone. They, they just can't stun anything in time, Aster. Oh, maybe with the fortification. XXS is hovering around the trees. But it's such a hard jump to make. Miero, Nobody wants to go in first on top of this Terrorblade. Miero's just waiting. If he sees Monet, he's going to go for the jump instantly. Depth Shroud is online. They got what they came for on Nine Pandas. They'll back up. The next item done for Ramses. He's got the completed Manta. Playing this clean. Smoke is going to come out from Aster. Break the smoke right away, killing an Observer Ward. I think it saw them. Zero Deso stack so far for Sumail. And they're gonna look to try to get something. I feel like they just know they're like we're just losing more and more of the map We got to just do something chaotic Take advantage of meta cooldown They can not easy And is all ready for this zones back at the ready Ramses yep. he'll just back it up Wisdom rune to grab over here as well too. level 19 on this team Gonna take some crazy, crazy high ground offense from Asta to turn this one. Crazy kind of overextensions, perhaps from Nine Pandas is what they're kind of hoping for. Damage just feels so limited versus these heavy armor cores. 37 on Terror Blade, 20 on the Axe with the Hobbard. Taka, he's been playing it a bit more careful after that one <laughs> weird <laughs> situation that happened mid where he zipped into a pounce. How long on meta? 20 seconds. They're gonna go regather toward bottom to Ramses. We're down here. Nay. He's gonna get jumped. Careful, he's caught. Mira grabs him with the telekinesis. We'll okay. get him off to the side. He'll get a chance to live, but he's still caught by the silence. And Kirtak has got the four four takes money. He's get slow, he'll get the shadow dance off. But he's got to run. He has to. There's no chance for him to fight with this. His HP as low as it is right now. Back Great. to base they run, Asta. Great save there at the least there from Pichu. Nice little lift disengage. He almost still dies, though. No matter expanded. It was just a tombstone. The Ramsey's still at the ready to fight. Check for Osh. It's still going to be a minute and a half until it's up. And probably that's what they want to wait for before they look to go for, like, the top racks or the mid in particular. Tier twos are up. And they're controlling the map nicely. I mean, this this minus really has just paid off fast. This is definitely the right call. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> no doubt about it. Ramsey's just set himself up for absolute success, uh, realizing that he could get away with the Midas this game. It's yeah. it, it, it's put him in the spot where he, he's been untouchable. Three zero seven. They've not been able to take him down. And honestly, with, with everything looking like it, it, it's looking right now, 
I don't he should be able will. to close this game out without dying at all. Yep. He's going an aggressive build to his own. Now he's just going straight for the damage. He's feeling like he's tanky enough at this point with the butterfly and that Scotty. Roche, 40 seconds. Yeah, they'll wait for it. They'll be very careful. Nine Pandas not looking to throw I mean, this one away. They've hit it with a scan. So do, where do you sort of take the, the risky fight? Do you try and go towards the Roche build? Or do you wait for them to come to you? Checking for items. I mean, maybe you are just going to have to try, but that is an impossible area to really fight around here with their lineup versus the axe and it just sets up the call like it's just gonna make monet's no this is just hard hard to say for aster zax just doesn't absolutely seem like the perfect answer even though he died a couple of times in the game you're really feeling how much pressure he's been able to just put onto aster monet just can't play the game and roche and tares he'll scout it no kill it in no time. Yeah, so okay. Guys, just like finish the next item. So BKB on Monet. Mail still. I mean, they're probably also feeling that they can't make a move out either. Not even popping the meta for it. They didn't actually pop anything. They didn't pop Moonstone. They didn't pop Flesh Golem. Absolutely nothing. They're not in a rush to kill it. They're just like, yeah, they ain't contesting us. And they can easily tank it up. Yeah. And uh, now just look to, to get in these Crete waves, push around and open up some of these other lanes, get get these tier twos taken out. Yep, start shoving that top in particular. Ramsey's full Daedal is going to be completed. He's been hanging on to his tier three token. He really wants the Grove Bolt for the Siege, but wondering which one he does get actually on the tier. attempt here from master to try and catch nine pandas split up a moon shard commit i mean monet he went for all he was kind of all in trying to break this the group up i think they know the inevitable if, if they're just able to siege they can't actually take it master trying to look for something but they can't nine pandas they're all gathered up push it's gonna go i mean this death ball what do you do aster and they're all set up. It's just too damn hard to deal with this Ramses. And there's very, very little things that will kill this Terra Blade right now. I mean, I bet they're just not giving them the opportunities to get any pickoffs or anything. Yep, just playing completely around Ramses with this push. Solo cresting him, buffing him up. Here, two drops. They'll go for the next one top. I'm stuck in the base. Sumail actually feels like he can't actually go for the Revenant's broach. He's like, okay, the, the game, is, the game could be ending. Yeah. Just buy damage. He buys a small crit. He buys Witchblade as well, too. Does at least give him the true strike. He attack it in. Tries to start things off. They will be able to save the Rubik. Jump forward from XXS, but he's going to get caught in the call. He puts the BKB, but it will manage to get off the arena and the spear. Monet's coming with the Death Shroud and the Shadow Dance to try and push forward and focus Key Attacker, but Key Attacker is able to get away. They turn towards Mira instead, but Mira's going to be forced to safety. They couldn't get the kills here, Aster. Nine Pandas, everybody's still alive. Jump forward from Samael. Get oh, but he's going to die for that. Caught in the call. Samael, he's out of the game for 85 seconds. No buyback on him. He really wanted to just get rid of Antares, but he <laughs> gives up his life for it. I think, he, I think XXS got insta silenced again on the initial go. And then he gets called. No Samel for 70 seconds. Or was it actually a hex? I actually didn't see the Kiyotaka head finish. Maybe it was a hex. We push him off a little bit here, but yeah, Sumail dies and his DB. His net worth is ridiculous. See again on the replay. I and mean, XXS did try his best to, to get something going that way, but indeed insta was silence. silence. Yeah. Gets the BKB off, but by the time that was there, it was already caught by the cool and Monet buying him that, that chance to live by jumping in, popping the Depth Shroud. I think a bit of panic, actually, because the Depth Shroud and Shadow Dance came out pretty similar. Kind of all the buttons being pressed Everything. by Aster. I mean, it's full panic, right? But, uh, yeah, there's there's not enough buttons to, to get themselves back in this game, it doesn't feel like. They're only down 8k, you know, it's not a huge lead in, in that sense. But when you just look at the matchups and look how far Rams is ahead of anything else in this game, it's just a question of how on earth. Do they stop this Terra Blade from destroying their Ancient? Yeah. This Axe pick just seems like it was perfect on top of just being able to set up Ramsey to get all the space in the world. Yeah, Smite is, of course, there. He's, he's like six slotted almost at the 35 minute mark. He's close to it. Like, yeah, it's like 900 GPM, right? Actually. Sorry. Yeah, it's 898. One of the higher GPMs on a non alk Age is still in the hands of Kiyotaka, too. 
I mean, if if they can find some way to kill this Terror Blade, there is a chance. If, but it's a big. If. Hey, Ramsey's buys a moon shard. He's very confident that they're not going to bring yeah, it he down. Is. He's got the. He always has the tombstone play too, and he's got. Pavis, he's got Solo Crest, and I, I said it the other day, I didn't get to talk about Twins because late, night's late, but Pavis on these high armor heroes is absolutely insane. Like success? Okay, he's gonna try. And try with the jump in, gets the spear connection onto Solo, but he's gonna get caught by the call, so does Money. Money also gets caught by the call, he pops the Shadow Dance, tries to focus in upon them, but he has to pounce out now as it comes to an end. Sumail got hexed on the initial go. Can't actually do much of anything. Oh my, Esther doesn't lose anybody there, but Shadow Dance and Death Shroud used. He knew the push. Tier 3 exposed. Glyph comes to an end. Tier 3. Attack speed. Alright, he's gonna... He's gonna turn the creeps on to... The attacker! Oh, Prince Kitaka. Yeah, we had the okay. Aegis. Alright. He was ready to lose it. Yep. Yeah. Tier 3 has gone. Right, Ramsey's... Okay, Ramsey's go. Onto the barracks. Yeah, it does eat a little bit of damage. He's like, okay, get just kidding, guys. I'll back it up. I mean, he definitely didn't need to buy the Moon Shard. This was definitely a very confident purchase from Ramsey's rather than going for something like a Satanic. I mean, they'll back off. They lost the Aegis. Yep. The plan is safe. They, they, they don't feel in under any sort of pressure no. to, to really force it. They can take a safe route out of this game. And you, you do choose the safe route, of course, in this situation. And what a loss here would be the end of your tournament run. I mean, a, a loss here would also... Oh, my God. Ramsey, don't yeah, die to pull, again. Pull, no, We've not, seen this before. Ramsey's... <laughs> Roger's not here, but Ramsey still likes to die to Tormentors. He'll be like, okay, just... Go. Yeah, so they're, they're still just, I mean, <laughs> trapped in the base. How long on the timing of Sumail? Maybe now he's like, damn it, why did I buy this crystal? I wish I had the money for the Revenant brooch. Maybe that crystal's a little bit here. Sumail now, Mindbreaker. Here before he's being picked up. Spell Prism on both. Of course, on nine pandas. Ramsey, so eat the moon shard. I'll get back on on the tormentor. Who still needs it? I mean, I'll the... they have Miro, oh, Ramsey, and Antares. That's it. That's a nice one, actually, too. Not the biggest. I mean, but I think part of this shard actually. Wait, Counter Helix no longer has a cooldown. It doesn't have a cooldown anymore anyway. It's based off of attack procs. Fix the cooldown. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's, ba it's based on attack procs, but it normally has a cooldown as well, right? I don't know, not anymore, dude. That was changed ages ago, dude. That got changed when they no, no, attack but it, proc, right? Am I crazy? No, yeah, they changed it to obviously every so many attacks, but it was it's still every so many attacks with like a 0 0.6 second or something. You know what I mean? Oh, that I actually don't even. Maybe you're right. Okay. Sorry, right. I just kidding. The tooltip's fine. That... Now you're making me doubt my set. <laughs> now I gotta check. <laughs> I'm not I'm, checking. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm not checking. I'm checking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Look, it, it has, still has it. It's a 0 0.3. It, I, I thought they actually removed that. I actually thought they removed it. it. It's, it's so many attacks, but it's still okay. a 0 0.3. All right, just kidding. So that apologies, that. Valve. I was wrong. Just change the tooltip, say Fog's an idiot. Well, the, yeah, wait a minute. They changed the tooltip so it actually says it. So it actually says there's a cooldown on it. Because it used to... I know that it used no, to be No, but it there. did. I think it says it, but then when you buy the shard, it disappears. Okay, see. fine. You might be right. Yeah. All right, whatever. Yeah, no, That's it. Look, Gentlemen. Right here. So they're going to be ready to go again. I swear they'd remove... Okay, okay. Push! Ramsey's going to pop the meta. Oh, they got the revenants, bro. Okay, they got the it. The male's got his iron. Okay, see what he can do. XXX is looking for the Oh, jump. no. Oh, you're going to get caught with the call again. Miro is able to grab He got him both. Once more, he's getting them every time. Every time he gets XXX. And Sumail. They're getting pushed back. The racks are exposed. Ramses, he can take the top melee racks. There's another set taken out the base. Or is it actually? Okay, but yeah. the back to protection kicked in, but they, they will make sure to finish it off before swinging round to the mid. An XXS spear to miss. I, there was an instant tombstone anyway. He grabbed allied onto Ramsey's Wait. literally before the spear. Like, can't even. And Mira's always check. ready. You know, he XXS is. and Money, they try and go in on someone. Mira always gets the jump and catch of the two of them in the call. And Another he's going to grab them again. Gets in, gets the catch onto Money. Money will be saved. Okay. For now, but the barracks. The barracks is dropping. Bit of a different story. The melee racks in the mid. Argon Money tries to pass forward once more. He just cannot touch this Terror Blade. Final two racks is these range racks. Yutaka is going to commit to the bottom one. Monet trying to 
Ashki attacker back. He's pinging him. He's like, can we at least kill the storm? No, they cannot. Of course, yeah. Nine panners. They can continue to nice keep save. it cool. They're in a no rush. And a no rush is two sets of range racks. They can take those when they wish to. They can hold back and look to, to go again when they wish. Roshan potentials back up. We'll see it, see it back in the game in a minute and a half. Hey, they're playing it as careful as possible. And I, as I, I, I just, how on earth can Asta do anything in this situation? They, this, how do they kill anybody? It's a tough game. It's got, when was, it's got to be feeling pretty painful when for last, Asta right now. When was the last time they actually got a kill? I mean, they did uh, kill Antares when Sumail suicided for Antares. Yes. Before that, uh, yeah. it was Antares at the 25 minute mark as well. And then it wasn't a kill. It was Antares also at the 7. So they killed Antares three times in the last like 15 minutes, but that's it. I haven't been able to get much of anything else. Smoke time from Asta. They have to take these risks. It's the it's the last hurrah. Nine pandas. They're totally set up for this here. Meta. It's back up. The high ground. Ramses. He knows that Astra are going to take risks like this. He's ready for them to approach. Miero in ninja geared. He breaks. He knows they're there. Dodges. And Metamorphosis is out from Ramses. XXS is still going to try and commit. Tombstone. It's there. It's Grab going ally. to protect Ramses for now. As now, they've probably got to consider backing off. Samel tried to get some hits in onto Key Attacker, but Key Attacker is able to ball lining away. Asta did not get the jump that they hoped for. Nope. And now the arena's down. They do have a refresher for a second round. They're going to perhaps start the Roche soon here in 10 seconds when it spawns. Nope. It's not up yet. They're smoking. And they're like, well, there's no Roche. Well, we'll, we'll take a buy instead. Nine pounders. They smoke up. They go straight towards a key. Right, to get the grab onto Samal. Mirrors in with the jump. Catches both Monet and Samal with the call. XXS taken down as the two cores are gone without buyback. Let's see if they can even get this uh, Enchantress out of there. Vuboka. He should be found. Taking down the Battle Hunger. They get the four of them. A tip. Oh, that is aggressive. Unnecessary. As <laughs> Ramsey's doing it for the region. For the region. <laughs> I mean, they've, they, they, this has been a very one-sided game. It's taken some time for them to kind of fully close this one out. But I mean, uh, as you do, and as I say, in these lower brackets, you, you have to around. Yeah, you, yeah. you close it up as as carefully as you can, and, and nine pandas have done that immaculately here. Piero, another, another catch. Jump. Another kill to be added, potentially. Okay, okay no, nice It's going to be saved here, Pichu. But Miero, honestly, the MVP for me in these last two games, perhaps even though Ramsey's getting that free, free farm. Miero, his black holes catching two cores every time. His axe catching, catching two cores yeah, almost really every did. time. He has fulfilled the role perfectly. Yeah. They were in both of these games. We'll eat some impetus. Impetai. Itaka's in. But Ramsey's no more funny business. He wants to end this. Yeah. I mean, XXS is going to be back up in five seconds. We'll see if he gets to show his face again in this game. As the Ancients exposed, they're looking to close it. As, uh, yeah, well, XXS tried to jump in, but he gets caught by the immediate hex. Ramsey's just just hate-clicking the throne. He's done. It's game over. Yeah. As the Ancient Falls, GG is called. Nine Pandas will knock Asta out of the competition as Nine Pandas move forward here. Two to one today.